Chapter 6 The Benefits of Disconnecting to Reconnect In this video, we'll talk about the benefits of disconnecting to reconnect. Whatever is excessive cannot be beneficial, and technology use is no different. When you use digital devices moderately, you've so much to gain. This chapter explores these advantages. Quality Physical Health Physical health is a combination of different factors. Indeed, genetic factors and family history contribute to your physical health. Nonetheless, you have a lot to do to ensure that your health does not deteriorate. Moreover, your lifestyle plays a vital role in determining how frequently you will visit the doctor. If you are careless with your feeding habit and exercise, you will weaken your immune system. According to Statista, 71% of Americans believe they could eat better. Meanwhile, only 29% have made an effort to improve their feeding habits in the last year. These stats show that although many Americans believe that they need to improve on their feeding habits, only a few ever make an effort to change their lifestyle in this aspect. One of the ways you can improve your feeding habit is by cutting down on technology device use. Statista revealed that only 19% of Americans buy groceries at farmer's markets for home-cooked meals. Note that buying from these sources guarantees cooking with healthy ingredients that will nourish your body. Nonetheless, how can you have time to visit such locations when you spend a considerable part of your time on social media? Excellent mental health It is difficult to separate mental and physical health even though they aren't the same. Your physical health can affect your mental health, and vice versa. For example, when you are sick, you can become depressed. In the same way, if you are suffering from depression, you will not do many things that help maintain your physical health. Depression will affect your eating habit and also the rate at which you exercise. If you have a culture of visiting a gym, you will not want to go when you aren't happy. In the long run, your physical health will start deteriorating because you aren't maintaining your fitness. Meanwhile, unrestrained digital device use will affect both your physical and mental health. However, if you stay off these devices when you should, you will be able to keep your sanity. You will reduce your chances of suffering from psychological disorders such as PTSD, depression, anxiety, and ADHD. Besides, you will improve your chances of having a high self-esteem. You will also be able to wade off the negative vibes that come with social comparison. Robust interpersonal relationship. Relationships are built on simple but powerful foundations. Time and attention are the core pillars that hold every functioning relationship. Moreover, relationships die a natural death when they are starved of the requisite attention. If you think about the people that used to be your friends at some time, you will realize that you are no longer in tune because you don't have time for each other anymore. Note that you only have 24 hours in a day. Many people wish that they have more than that. Nonetheless, when you start feeling that you need more than 24 hours for your day, it is an ominous sign that all is not well. It shows that you have horrible time management skills. You need to take out time to rearrange your priority. It shows that you've been giving your time to things that are less productive. Unfortunately, excessive use of technology is one of the main reasons some people don't have time for their loved ones. The sad story of Andy Murray and his former girlfriend was earlier cited as an example of how digital devices can ruin your relationship. A digital detox can go a long way in helping you fill the gap these devices have created between you and your loved ones. Effective Work-Life Balance Remote working is gaining prominence because of its numerous advantages. One of the reasons many people will prefer to work from home is so that they can improve their work-life balance. According to a survey by Axel and Qualtrics, 
66% of millennials are willing to take a pay cut to work remotely. This shows that many employees are frustrated with their struggles with work-life balance in a traditional team. Nonetheless, the inability of some people to maintain a healthy balance between the work and family life is because of their uncensored use of digital devices. It is challenging enough to be a parent and work a job at the same time. You cannot afford to complicate the situation more by not restricting the time you spend in the digital network. Many people who work in a traditional office have excellent work-life balance. There are many people who have similar responsibilities as yours, who still excel at home and at work. So, the issue often is not where and when you work, but how you manage your schedules. Superb performance is an everyday task. A digital detox will enable you to have the clear head needed to draw good plans and make quality decisions. Meanwhile, you need a clear head and a calm mind to devise strategies for more productivity. There are many things you can practice that can help you prepare better and execute your projects successfully. Keeping a journal is one of such productive activities that can help you evaluate your life and make better decisions. Nevertheless, you cannot be faithful in keeping a journal when you have poor time management skills. One of the reasons you will not be able to keep a journal is spending too much time with your phone and other devices. You've more than enough games and posts to keep you occupied all day long, so it takes deliberate effort to take out time to update your journal. Taking that bold and remarkable step to stay away from the noise of social media will improve your efficiency. You will be able to keep your focus when receiving instructions about a task for precise execution. Successful people stand out among others because they do what most people don't do. They know when to withdraw from the crowd and create strategies for monumental achievements. You can do that by limiting your use of technology devices. More time for hobbies. On the surface, saying playing video games or visiting social media is your hobby sounds nice. However, it can be dangerous because it shows that you enjoy spending more time alone than being with your loved ones. It is not a problem to have times when you are alone and just enjoy the company of yourself. Nonetheless, it is a sign of social withdrawal when you do that often. Limiting your use of digital devices will help you create time for productive hobbies, such as volunteering in a humanitarian group. Some people accept responsibilities so that people will perceive them as a good person. This motive is hypocrisy because such people accept such roles only to struggle with other aspects of their life. Nevertheless, with excellent time management skills, you can work a job, have a family, and still be part of a non-profit organization. Start by reducing the time you spend on social media, and you may be surprised that you've always had time all along. Once you get your priorities right, you can create time for many satisfying hobbies. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.